Hi, this is Ragdren, and in the chat with me is Jay, and Hello. we're gonna start Shadow Warrior. Yes. And this level is, well, it's a little harsh at the start. <laughs> I think I need yeah. a better plan than that. Yeah, I might want to come with something different. <laughs> so this level, as we just saw, the toughest part is really at the start. Right. It took me a few tries to figure out the right strategy for going in, especially with no particularly strong weapons. Mm. I mean, there is a Ooh. tank right outside, wow. but I found that just shooting at stuff, uh, just, it doesn't work because you're surrounded and some of the enemies can still kill you in one or two shots. Right. So my solution was to just charge and run over anything that was blocking the way. Wow. This, yeah. this plan did not always work. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you misstep a little or don't press E in time, well, uh, that then you can just get shot up really fast, and even sometimes when you get in, uh, you're not f home free. Correct. Yeah. But in this case, it worked out. I know, which is a, a very good thing. It seems like they're not. There is no shortage of bad guys at all here. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, most Shadow Warrior levels have that particular quality at this point. It's not in levels of, say, Serious Sam, but... Yes, yeah. <laughs> but uh, for this game, it's quite a lot, and they are uh, all, or at least mostly, uh, really dangerous. Right. And I have actually occasionally run into a bug where, uh, upon escaping... Like that. You see that Chow Ninja wow. is kind of stuck in midair. Shots go move? through him. He's not attacking or anything, and I can only sometimes see him. He's so peaceful. He's like moonwalking in midair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it feels kind of... I felt kind of bad shooting at him. I mean, the Shadow <laughs> Warriors very rarely find peace with the world, as we've observed. Very true. Now, I considered getting back into the tank to shoot at all these rippers and getting a ripper heart from them. Yeah. And uh, there are a couple of problems with this, though. Okay. I, as I think we're observing right now, mm. they tend to just run at you. Yes. Which isn't to say that the tank is completely ineffective. Right. But running over them uh, does not ever generate a, a heart, uh, nor does it a, a ever generate other pickups. Like, if you run out over ninjas, they don't drop ammo. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So, okay. So Still, these... it is instant death to anything. Right, so, which is good. Yeah, it's not often that you get an attack like that. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's fun. You know, at least we know these bad guys aren't wearing their hearts in their sleeves, so it's no big deal. Oh, so. wow. that That's a nice line. I, I have to congratulate you for that one. Thank you. <laughs> so the next step, of course, is walking around picking up all the weapons, and we will need them, of course. Yes. Especially with uh, this next building here, because they have... There's Shadow Ninjas, there's Ninjas that fire guided missiles... Yes. So this is uh, absolutely not overkill right here. Right. <laughs> yeah, wow. I love the grenade launcher. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, especially for situations like this. Yeah. And it's also very handy to have that kill counter thing active when you're using the grenade launcher. Uh -huh. Helps prevent uh, surprises when you think that you've killed everything. Definitely. You know, I also noticed um, with this game, and I mean, of course, like it's, it happens with this and Duke Nukem is that, um, and I don't think we talked about this before, but it's the it's the damage that um, certain objects do, like in the game, like you know, fire, fire actually causes damage. You don't really see that a lot in first-person shooters nowadays. Hmm. Um, so. Well, I I have to admit I don't play a whole lot of modern first-person shooters, so I'll have to take oh. your word on that one. Hmm. Um, I. Are you saying there aren't, like, fires, uh, just, uh, on, on the ground or something that hurt you if you walk over them? Right, yeah, like, I was actually just, just playing Titanfall not too long ago, and I just wanted to try that out just to see if it would, if it, you know, if it would work, that kind of environmental damage would work, and it doesn't, like, you just pass right through it, so you really don't see a lot of that, that cool stuff, um, nowadays. Oh, in the take old that school, Titanfall. So. Yeah. 
that. So, which is still a good game. It's still it's still an awesome game. It's just you know with that type of stuff you don't see it anymore. So, ooh, three guys with one grenade. Good stuff. Of course, they were all the generic ones that don't have any special weapons. But yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll take my little victories where I can get them. Yes, and this this part here this kind of caused me a few problems because. I, w I didn't r know just how many coolies were there, mm -hmm. which, as you know, will lead to the occasional surprise. Right. Wow, two. Wow, two for two on the coolie ghosts. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I think that might be related to difficulty. They almost, yes. they almost always rise up when I've been playing uh, at the top difficulty. Right. And Maybe it's because I don't play the lore ones as much, but in my limited experience, they don't seem to rise up as much there. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm still mad they don't do splash damage to themselves, though, like to like other coolies. So. I think they do, actually. I've blown up coolies with other coolies before. Oh, nice. Huh. It's just the reason that it doesn't look that way is that one coolie, if it hasn't been damaged, can survive another coolie explosion. Ah, okay, yes, makes, makes sense. Yeah, they're just really durable. I I may have mentioned this before, but I've seen a coolie survive a direct grenade hit. Wow, yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense, though. They're very pesky. Box not, carriers. Uh, not a direct rocket hit, though. That'll do enough uh, damage. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this box is durable, so expected. Yeah, a box full of explosives, that, that takes a lot to uh, get rid of. It's not like that sort of thing just explodes on demand or anything. Right. Wow, there are, geez. All these women just swarming you, man. They're just coming in droves right now. Yeah, I know. If only the circumstances were just a little different. Right? Yeah. Life. What can you do? Life is a shadow warrior. What can you, what can you do? Yeah, you gotta make sacrifices. <laughs> I, I mean, you get to kill people with your bare hands, but on the other hand, the ladies uh, just want to kill you. Yeah. That's, that's his life. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. And I found that using the Uzi to finish off those enemies after a direct hit with the rocket launcher usually works pretty well. I yeah. mean, uh, it's it only takes two or three bullets, and it's pretty easy to hit with that. Mm -hmm. And you save on rockets, too. Yes. Most definitely, most definitely. So you've got the one Uzi out um, right now. I, yeah, I use that sometimes. When I'm low on, like, Uzi ammo... Or yeah. something, and I just need to quickly finish some day off. I'll just, I'll just pull out one Uzi. So, well, although in my case, I just have it because I haven't picked up a second Uzi yet. Right. Oh, man. There are very few cases where I will use a single Uzi by choice. Mm. And I really should have cleared out this place with grenades. Going after that guided missile guy with the sword was a little gutsy. Yes, that's that's a charitable way of putting it. Whew. Yeah. Ancient Chinese secret. Very true. Too bad Lo Wang can't slice swords, slice rockets up with his sword, or do something very Raiden esque. <laughs> so. Yeah, that. Oh, you do that in Revengeance? Oh um, man, he does a lot. I'm not sure if you do that specifically, but from what I've seen, he's a lot of stuff in Revengeance. Yeah. So there's a lot of badass badassery going on. You know, I think so. Raiden deserves that, considering that he was pretty much the butt monkey in the first game that he showed up in. Yeah, very true. I love Metal Gear Solid 2, though. So, yeah. Forgive me, Brad. You're still yeah. awesome. Now, this smoke bomb here, I use that because um, the enemies are close range, so I don't want to use a rocket. But on the other hand, they're really dangerous, like the Shadow Ninja. Right. So, um, of course, the downside is that there are also coolies, which are a little tricky to deal with at punching range. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That reload. <laughs> the timing. Yeah. yeah, well, it could have been worse. It could have been a dual Uzi re reload. Oh, yeah. No. I think that's the longest reload in the game. Is the dual, the dual Uzis, really? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the shotgun has a pretty fast reload. The things it like does. the rocket launcher and the grenade launcher don't have reloads at all. Right. So I, I think it is the longest reload in the game. And... You can actually uh, sort of prevent reloads by picking up clips, and the reason for that is 
The game doesn't actually monitor clips. It uh, the ammo system is not that sophisticated. So right. what it does is it reloads when you have 100 bullets in the case of dual Uzis, wow. or when it's uh, divisible by 50 in the case of the single Uzi. Right. So for example, if you have 102 uh, bullets in your ammo counter and you pick up a clip, it then goes to 152 and uh, the reload is put off by 50 bullets, if that makes any sense. Mm. Yeah, it's cool animation. Though. I mean, I I enjoy it. It just takes forever, but definitely yeah, it's still uh, something so, cool. Uh, on that note, again, if you have a hundred and two bullets, it helps to keep track of that, so you can fire the last two and reload before you walk into a room or something. Right. That that's an old trick uh, that was also pulled off in Marathon, which did have clips, but you couldn't manually reload. Right. Mr. Wu. I am very. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is another level that I find it gets kind of easier as you go go along. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the the first big building you go into has a lot of dangerous enemies, but once you get some tools, it's not that bad. Yeah. And this is another of my favorite moments. You yes, <laughs> just throw one shot, uh, one set of shurikens, and well, they were not too big on safety measures for this. That's all I can say. Yeah. No, actually, Lo Wang's standing pretty close there, but yeah, but these are video game explosions. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh man, so much popcorn to make. Mm. I'm surprised oh. he doesn't say anything after all that. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, that's the end of the level. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>